Good afternoon, class. So I am Teacher Prisit, and uh, today we're going to learn about K to B Max. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, and what we're going to learn today? Uh, we're going to learn about sharing between two. So you know sharing between two. So sharing between two uh, on page forty. Uh, we learn how to uh, divide things together with others. Okay? For example, like uh, I have uh, two apples, two apples, and then I need to share it between two myself and uh, my brother. So, two apples, I need to get one apple and I give one apple to my brother. So, I get one, my brother gets one. So this is how we share between two, or we can say sharing between two. And to be detailed, we go to our lesson and example. So over here, if we learn about sharing between two, refer to here, look, what are these? These are uh, marbles. You know marbles? Mostly uh, kids. Kids love playing marble, you know marble? Then you play marble with your friends. Uh, when I, I, I did used to, when I was a kid, when I was seven years old or five years old, I used to play with my neighbors about playing marble, okay? This is how we play marble. We, we need to use our fingers. So uh, these are marbles. So they together, marbles, marbles. Okay, so here there are some marbles that uh, we going to uh, share in between two. I mean that we, we only share to uh, Mr. A and Mr. B, only two people. Okay, but uh, but uh, before uh, sharing, I want to explain you the three questions below. So we have three questions here. So the first one is how many marbles are there? So all here, how many marbles? Can you answer that? Okay, we are counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many marbles are there? So the answer is six. Six marbles. So you complete here is there are six mar marbles. All right. And now uh, what you have to do is you need to share between two. Share between two. So how do we share? Let look. So the first one you need to close. Okay, one. And then you draw one marble right here. Okay, A get one marble. And go to the second one. We're drawing B, okay? Also one marble. And then we start the next one. And we draw here. Okay? And go to the next one. And we draw here. Go to the fifth one. Draw right here. Go to the sixth one. Draw right here. So no more marbles, right? Because you already share between two. So we go to the second uh, question after sharing. How many marbles in box A? So how many marbles in box A? Look, box A, box A. So how many marbles after a sharing between two? So let's count. One, two, three. So how many marbles in box A? The answer is three marbles. What about box B? I'm sorry, this is box B. Okay, let counting. How many marbles in box B? Go. One, two, three. The answer is three. So, uh, you want to make sure that the writing, your count, your sharing is right or wrong. Let count that Ball A and ball B must equal. Okay, must be equal. Look, how many is in box A? Three. How many in box B is 
3. So 3 plus 3 equals 6 becomes 6. So the answer is correct. Okay, so this is how you uh, share it between two. So that's it for the lesson now. Uh, before saying goodbye, let's do your task one together. So your task one is sharing between two. So over here there are uh, some roses, you know, roses. Flower is a kind of flower that have many uh, different colors, especially in red. So there are some roses over here, and I have also two boxes for you to uh, put the rows inside when you share it between two and I have also the same three questions like all question number one is how many roses are there so you complete the answer here by counting the roses right here question number two is how many roses in A or how many roses in B to answer this question you need to do the same by uh, cro crossing uh, the first flower and you draw here, and the second one you draw here, and the third one right here, and the fourth one in B again. You do like this again and again and after uh, until you finish all roses. And then you have to complete counting and complete question number two and number three as well. Okay, so this is how you do your uh, exercise, your task one. So thank you for watching and see you in. Uh, this second video. Hi there, so welcome again to our uh, second video of uh, K to B Math. So, uh, uh, before I uh, continue to, to study about sharing among three, I want to review about uh, what you have learned in the first video that you already learned about sharing between two. So, uh, sharing between two refer to uh, you have things that you need to divide into two or between two people for example like I raised the example before that I have two apples and I and my brother need to eat apple and I need to uh, share the two apples between two so I pick up one apple for myself and the one that left I give I give it to my brother. So this is mean is the way to sharing between a uh, two that I get one apple and my brother gets one as well. So this is sharing between two. But what we're going to learn now is about sharing among three. Okay, sharing among three is similar to two. Two you need you need to share between only two people. But sharing among three is means you need to uh, divide things or any things uh, between or among three people or three group of people. So here is uh, the example. So the example here, uh, there are uh, many, I can say many sta strawberries, but I don't know how many strawberries. And uh, before uh, showing how to share in among three, let's go to four questions. Like question number one is, how many uh, strawberries are there? So all strawberries, how many strawberries? Number two is, how many strawberries in A? It's mean in box A. And how many strawberries in box B? In B. And how many strawberries in box C? In C. So, can you answer this? No, you cannot. Why? Because we haven't done it yet. So, let's do it first. So, the first one you need to count the strawberries right here. So, you, we count together. Okay, here is one. Yes, one. What about this? Two. How about this? Three. Okay, you first. Four. Roll right. Five, yes. Six, all right. Seven, okay. Eight, and last one is nine. So here, go to the question number one. How many strawberries are there? So the answer is one. No, the answer is nine. All right, so you complete nine strawberries. How about question number two and four? How? You need to divide first. 
So this is the way that you need to divide or sharing among three. The first one you need to, to uh, close out uh, anyway, like do like this. Okay, and then you put in box one. Okay, in box A. And then you like do like this again and then you complete, uh, you draw it in box two. Alright. And then do this again, you complete in box Z. And then you start doing this to the false one and you back to box A. Alright. Next one in box B. The sixth one in box C. Mm -hmm. the, the seventh one in A. The eighth one in uh, B. Alright. And the last one in C. So here you really can uh, answer question two to question number number uh, four. So count together. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Three. B. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Three strawberries. C. One, two, three. Okay. Three. So here are the answers. So go to the question number two. How many strawberries are there? Or how many strawberries in A? The answer is... Alright. Three. So we complete number three. Question number three. How many strawberries in B? The answer is three. All right, three. Last question. How many strawberries? Strawberries in C? The answer is three. All right. So it means each of the person or each bot have three strawberries. Three, three, three. 3 plus 3 plus 3 become 9 so the answer is correct ok so that's it for sharing among 3 now we're going to do your task 2 that you have a similar way to do your uh, exercise so here sharing among 3 so I have some apples but I don't know how many apples and then I need you to share all these apples among 3 people or three boxes like A, B, and C. Okay, so we have the same four questions like how many apples are there? So you need to count all apples here. And then how many apples in A, how many apples in B, and how many apples in C? So here, uh, before complete uh, think this uh, answer, you need to uh, share it for like do what uh, do uh, the same what I, I taught you what I explained you like you close one you put in one close two in two close three in three and close the first one and put in one again and until you finish all apples so here is your tax two so that's it for sharing among uh, sharing among three and see you in the next video thank you. Hello, my beloved students. So welcome to our last part of your uh, K2D lessons. So uh, I want to uh, sum up what you have learned in the first and second video. So what you have learned so far is uh, on page 40, that you learn about uh, sharing between two, refer to uh, the way that you share, no, refer to uh, the way that you're sharing things that you have between two people. Can, can be you or uh, your friend, can be and like example right here is that there are six apples, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you need to uh, uh, share in between two. So after sharing between two, uh, we can find out that uh, each our person or each our box get three each. Like here, three apples, and here, and three apples. And uh, what you have learned about sharing among three, we refer to uh, the way that you need to share things. Uh, among three group or three people like over here there are uh, nine strawberries and you need to share to uh, three people and after sharing
after sharing among three, uh, each one get three, three, and three. So uh, here it is about uh, sharing among three. So that's it for uh, what you have learned so far about uh, uh, sharing between two and uh, sharing among three. So now uh, we're going to do your homework. That the homework is in your uh, textbook. So please open your textbook, your my textbook on page uh, 40, on page uh, 40 and page 41 together. Okay, so here is your uh, homework. Alright, so here is the your textbook. So I'm going to explain you how to do your uh, homework. So your homework here is on page uh, 40. That the instruction right here, sharing between two. So here there are some snails that we put the snails in the jar. So I don't know how many snails. So you need to count them by yourself and then you complete in the box right here. So how many snails are there? And over here I just add uh, two boxes. So you need to draw the snail right here and draw the snail right here. And how? You need to uh, share uh, between two like what I have taught you, you have to put the snails from the first tree and also the second tree after you, until you finish all the snails, okay? And then after uh, putting the snails on each tree, you need to uh, count it and complete uh, uh, in the box. If, if the answer right here is the same, the answer right here is means your answer is correct. But if your answer is not the same, because right here you put two, but here is four, it's not that your answer is not correct. So make sure that two boxes are the same, uh, have the same, uh, have the same uh, snails. Okay, so this is uh, your first homework. And one more homework is on page uh, 41. 41 that sharing among three. So here you need to uh, look at the grasshoppers. So there are many grasshoppers, so you count and complete here how many grasshoppers are there. And then you use all the grasshoppers to share, among, uh, to share among three, like here, the branch one, branch two, and branch three. And then do the same what I have taught you about sharing among three. And then you counting and complete in each box. If here, here, and here is, I have the same uh, amounts of uh, uh, grasshoppers, it means your answer is correct. So that's it for your homework. And again, your homework is on page 40 and 41. Okay, so uh, that's it for k to be marks. So hopefully you can touch up the lesson very well. And don't forget uh, to do your task 1, task 2 and uh, your homework. And in the end, stay safe, stay at home, take care of yourself. Thank you, see you in the next lesson.